Hello and welcome to JJ's Food Reviews and today we have Drink Brownie Caramel Cream Root Beer since 1929 Orca Beverage Soda Works and I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this name Mukilteo, something like that, Washington that is a town near Seattle with a sprite on the label it's easy to see how this mischievous and delicious blend of root beer and caramel came about Produced with care in small batches, brownie has been enjoyed since 1929. 12 fluid ounces. Ingredients, carbonated water, pure cane sugar, natural and artificial flavors, caramel color, phosphoric acid, citric acid, sodium benzoate, a preservative. Contains milk. I'm not sure how that milk got there because I don't see milk in the ingredients unless it's one of the natural flavors perhaps. And there you've got the nutrition facts. Sugar is 43 grams. That's a bit more sugar than I'd probably want to take on an, in one serving, but, well, for a treat, I suppose it's okay for once in a while. So, let me set this phone down and try to open this bottle, because it is an old-fashioned bottle. So, here we go. I got it open. And there is the open soda and I'm gonna give this a try and see how drink brownie caramel cream root beer is well I'm getting the caramel right away it's a little different than most root beers I've had which would be like Barks root beer and a and w I'm thinking this would go good with ice cream, with vanilla ice cream. It is good. It does have a very minor milky aftertaste. Uh, kind of a milky caramel type flavor in the aftertaste. The first thing you taste is a definite caramel taste. And it transitions into a bit of a fizzy, just regular rubier taste, and then after you swallow it, has a bit of a milky aftertaste that stays with you. Kind of like when you drink whole milk. Not the skim kind of milk taste, but the more like 2% or whole milk taste. So, what am I going to rate this? Um, I'll have to... It, it's unusual, I'll say that first of all. It's a bit unusual. Um, I've have, you know, talked to people who tried it and, you know, some people don't like it. They don't really get over that strange aftertaste. But I like it. I'm thinking this will go really good with ice cream somehow, so I'm going to do that after I finish this review. But I think that this would get a 7 out of 10 from me. It's nothing spectacular. It is interesting but it's not interesting on the level of the kombucha with chia seeds or something I reviewed a, few, uh, a couple weeks ago or whatever. Um, this is just root beer with a bit of an interesting caramel milk type aftertaste. But yeah, 7 out of 10, nothing spectacular, but it is definitely good. So, I'm JJ. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you again soon for another JJ's Food Review.